Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic, wonderful day and all is going well for you. So this video is going to be a drawing video. My favorite thing to draw are animals and I love spending time on Pinterest um, just looking at interesting animals and you can find so many cool ones there and the ones that actually fascinate me the most are all these horned animals you can find there. It's so interesting it, it, it fascinates me so much that there are all these beautiful horned animals that i have no idea existed and so in this video i am drawing four antelopes african antelopes that i found um, on pinterest that i just think are beautiful and they keep popping up and i just have this need <laughs> to draw them they're just so beautiful and i love drawing animals that um, i don't know so much about and i realized as i was looking at the these, these animals um and all the details that i have no idea what type of animals these are i don't know anything about them at all so instead of me just going on about stuff that is important to me i wanted to talk about these animals because i looked up some really interesting information and i thought it'd be fun for me to just talk about what types of animals these are and then you could learn something it's gonna be fun so the first one i'm drawing now is called a kudu and it's an african antelope like all of the other ones here in afrikaans it actually means part zebra part deer because it is kind of striped as well um, they mainly camouflage themselves in big shrubs so they aren't seen all that much by the public they usually are solitary and they don't really go in herds or packs at all uh, but during mating season they are they gather 5 to 15 so that you know they can actually reproduce uh, and funny thing these animals they the male ones are called bulls in the antelope kingdom and when they need to fight for um, a woman, I guess, they lock horns and they see who is the strongest puller and it actually happens sometimes that uh, they get stuck, which is such a stupid thing for nature to create, like why would they get stuck and what happens then is they actually starve to death, um, so it seems like a, like a strange way to win the female rather than just um you know doing it the old-fashioned way i just just pick pick one you don't need to die for the girl but anyways so when they are threatened their fur stands up on end just like cats which i thought was interesting and they're also amazing runners uh, i it said that on wikipedia where i get all this information it said that a wounded female uh, can run for many miles without stopping which i think is very impressive uh, and very cool actually and the next antelope here is called a sable antelope and these are sexually dimorphic which means that the male and female of the antelope look different just like ducks so i thought that was very interesting and the women are brown and the males are actually black but they don't turn black until they're three years old um and that's when they turn black and they're also different in like size uh, of course, these ones are located in East uh, to South Africa and they mostly live in like savannas, uh, woodlands and grasslands as well as like I think all of these antelopes are I think it's uh, quite common for them to do that but something I found interesting about uh, the sable antelope in particular is that they actually chew bones for minerals which I find very smart but they don't usually, they don't kill animals, they just eat grass uh, beside the bone chewing of course <laughs> so these are in packs or herds of 10 to 30 females and actually just one male which doesn't feel very feministic but you know that's that's how the animal kingdom rolls <laughs> uh, but actually very sad fact is that these numbers have been reduced to due to agriculture um, which has been a big problem for this specific species of antelope and also something that is different for these ones is that they confront their predators so all of these are obviously prey animals but uh, because of their horns they're able to often actually attack and win against the predators that try to attack them and also something i found quite fun is that uh, the males then when they fight against each other they go on their knees and lock horns uh, which the others don't okay this is the third antelope and it's called a lelwell hartebeest and I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this is also like uh, African antelope. Why do I keep saying that? So it has eight subspecies, which is quite a lot. And hartebees in Afrikaans actually means deer. Uh, so it's kind of the deer version of 
the the your Euro- <laughs> African version of the European deer. And these packs are actually up to a 300 per herd, which is a lot, I think. Um, and they also eat grass, just like the other antelopes here that I've been drawing, um, as well as found in grassland and savanna. And actually something I learned about antelopes is that they can survive with very little water. And this particular uh, antelope, the heart beast, can also survive in like very high altitudes in the mountains. It was funny because in this one, when I looked at the site that I was looking at, it said they have a lot of predators. Uh, and then it said they're going extinct because of hunting. But they didn't mention that humans are one of the predators, which is kind of uh, funny. And then the one the last one that I'm drawing now is a Jeronook. I think I'm pronouncing that Jeronook. <laughs> I tried to look up pronunci- pronunciation, but uh, we'll see if I actually fail at that. This is a giraffe gazelle, which is another name for... Uh, the Jeronook, the long-necked antelope. Um, and they're often found, or mostly found, in East Africa, which seems quite common, East to South Africa. These ones are quite small. They're 80 to 100 centimeter tall, but when they reaching for branches and trees, food in higher altitudes, altitude, <laughs> higher ground or whatever, they can actually stand on their hind legs for a really long time and become two meters tall. And something I found really cute, <laughs> cute, can you call that? They like standing in the rain a lot to cool their body down. And they usually travel in very small herds, just two to six members. Um, and they only have the same sex members in one herd. And the males usually or often just go solitary uh, yes, so also food, they eat from bushes, trees, shoots, herbs, flowers, and fruits, so a little bit more varied than the ante- other antelopes that I have talked about so far. Um, yeah, and that's it, and the last thing I'm doing now is just coloring in the background. I do this because I don't really do like a black outline outside the sketches, so in this way it makes the antelopes, <laughs> my animal sketching drawings, stand out more and it makes it easier to uh, see the different animals and the the space between them and all that so i hope this has been like informative and helpful and fun in a way that you've learned something about antelopes and about these beautiful animals i think they're all kind of threatened species but i did hear that the red heart bees are actually increasing especially in swaziland and Zimbabwe, I think that's right. I I don't remember. I didn't write that part down. (laughs) But uh, I think there's actually work being done for trying to increase this animal so they don't go extinct. But wow, I admire these animals so much. I think they're beautiful. I think they're fascinating. Just like the way the horns curve, like when they're growing. Um, I mean, it shouldn't be that fascinating because it's just like curled hair, I guess. But they're just so majestic and large and yeah, just fascinate me. <laughs> I'm done now. So I just used my Tombow uh, fine liners for this as well as this colored marker. And it, on the page, it looks very scattered. Uh, what's it called? Like you can see the lines where I'm drawing, but in real life, you can't see it at all pretty much. So I don't really know why it looks like that on camera. But it was just really nice to get back into drawing animals. It's It's one of my favorite things. Now that I found the perfect way to film this video, I actually really like it when it's zoomed out. But then when it's zoomed in, it's much nicer when it's from the side. So I'm going to try to do that in the future. And I think um, this is going to be the end of the video. <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed my little information dump and it wasn't too boring or overwhelming. I just I just found it really interesting. I felt like I learned something. So I hope you have a really, really intelligent day. Comment below your favorite antelope and if there's anything I missed. And I'll talk to you guys soon.